So I actually think from an aspiration standpoint, there's no separation. Um, the, and I know Bob and, and Aaron are going to talk about this, but there's a, a permeating sense of climate priorities in every agency and every department. This is a top, top priority. So I think in that sense, uh, there's no separation. I think some of the more difficult questions that we're going to confront um, are going to be in the power sector. So is this a clean energy standard? Um, is it a carbon price uh, across all sectors? Um, and I think, you know, even the, the clean energy standards that have been created to be eligible for reconciliation have a more uh, financial component to them, and they're starting to look more and more like carbon pricing. So I think those are the areas where there may, I wouldn't describe it as a disagreement. I would describe it as really smart people trying to dig through the policy and figure out what the right answer is. Um, and I think, you know, that's probably the most consequential. Um, there's some design elements of a soil or forest carbon um, contribution to climate that I think, again, it's not a disagreement, but I think smart people are trying to figure out how to quantify it, how to measure it, how to support some of the, um, the proprietary markets that have cropped up for carbon in order to leverage private sector investments in dollars. So um, I think, you know, everybody knows the interest and knows the, the kind of the, the stakes. It's all a matter of making sure we get it right, given the limitations of the process we have. 